Northwestern hasn't won a bowl game in six decades. Now, that's only six games since their last bowl win in 1949, but that's a tough task to have to do against Auburn, a team that historically is very good in the postseason. Hey, how are you folks? Jason Horowitz, glad to be with you here on a preview of the Outback Bowl. And for that, we bring in, as we have all season long, CBS Sports' Spencer Tillman and Spence. Uh, you know, last year the Big Ten won just one. One and six in bowl season. It came in the Outback Bowl. And in this bowl season, seven Big Ten teams, only one is favored. That's Penn State over LSU. So how important is this game for Northwestern, not just to break the streak, but for the Big Ten's image? Well, you, you've heard me say it a lot. You know, we live in a world of images and impressions, and certainly that applies to football. They need to win this one, and I, I would argue that they're probably in a better position. You can't get lulled to sleep by the jerseys and the history here. I think Northwestern is in a better position to really make a good accounting of themselves and the Big Ten, given the way they finished this year, having knocked off Iowa to end their undefeated run, having beaten Wisconsin, who was ranked 14th at the time. Certainly, uh, Auburn, alternately, only had one victory against a Division one opponent on the back end of their season. So uh, on paper, it looks like Northwestern is up to the challenge. Yeah, Northwestern won four of its last five ball games. Auburn finished two and five. And as you mentioned, only one against an FBS uh, uh, opponent. Now they played Alabama extremely tough. Yeah. What mm -hmm. was the key to doing that and playing well in this ball game? What would be the carryover? Well, I mean, what you were facing in Alabama is obviously the challenge of stopping Mark Ingram and that, that offensive line. That was the big deal. So they loaded up the line of scrimmage with eight and sometimes even nine guys and just declared Mark Ingram is not going to run the football on it. So they had some success there. Uh, and I'm not so sure if this team can afford to do that uh, because you, you, you actually weaken the back end. I think Gus Malzahn obviously has an uh, affinity for throwing the football when you do try to crowd the line of scrimmage, and he'll have that option. Where they started off the year 5-0, and oh, that was pretty impressive. That's not smoke and mirrors. I mean, he led the nation a couple of years ago when he was at Tulsa in offense, and they did that with the vertical pass game. So, again, you got to be careful about loading the line of scrimmage against this bunch. And Spence, you talk about a weak back end for Auburn. It's the worst scoring defense in the SEC. <laughs> you think Mike yeah. Kafka and this Northwestern offense will take advantage and put up a lot of points? Well, I think they will. I think what Kafka could, does is he's a steady guy. I mean, they're not going to score a lot of points. Even though they spread you out, that's what they do on offense. They really don't score a ton of points on offense. They control the clock, and they run it at you. They mix it up, and they balance it. So it's not, in the strictest sense of the definition, a true spread offense uh, that we're used to seeing at teams that, you know, like uh, maybe to a lesser degree Florida, maybe Oklahoma, some of the others that are going to push it up the field and try to score a lot of points on you. So there will be opportunities to exploit that back end, but I'm not so sure they're equipped to do it, nor are they willing and, and able to do it. You, you talked about Auburn and Gus Malzahn and, and, and Gene Chizik. It's their first season. Uh, they relied heavily on a couple of seniors, Chris Todd, Ben Tate. This is their last ball game. What are you expecting yeah. from the two of them? Well, they're going to come out guns a-blazing, I, I think. Uh, again, Ben Tate, although it will be the guy that they go to first to set up that passing attack, I really believe that Gus Malzahn wants to get his offense going on the passing side of time, things. I think he didn't ignore the fact, which a lot of coaches who are really of his ilk, who want to throw the ball, they get kind of disgruntled at the fact that they're not able to do what they do best. I, I give him props for this. Going with Ben Tate, he's your best player, perhaps on that football team, run the football with him, then set up your pass. Don't force feed the issue. So I give uh, Gus Malzahn Miles on uh, high marks in that regard. I think that both those players will show up ready to play and be highly effective in this game. It should be a very entertaining ball game. Spence again, the streak on the line, trying to break it for Northwestern. Auburn six and three lifetime against the Big Ten in bowl games. Who are you like in this one? I'm going to go with Northwestern. I just think I like the way they've been playing. They're well coached. They're solid. They turn you over on defense and all that together to me spells victory, Jason. Yeah, I like Northwestern in this one, too. We'll see how it all plays out New Year's Day. For more on this game, stay right here with CBSSports.com. Spencer T., happy New Year, buddy. All right, happy New Year to you, my friend. We'll see you, buddy. All right, folks, for more on this game, again, right here with the website. For Spencer Tillman, I'm Jason Horowitz. Take care, folks.